Hi Drummers, Gary Williams is back with another reaction and analysis video. Many of you have requested that I do a video on Keith Moon and today is the day. So we're going to check out Keith Moon playing a drum solo. Here we go. Our star host, Keith Moon of The Who. Look at that drum set. It's huge. What? He's got goldfish inside a floor tom. You're kidding. really close to the bass drums. something on both feet, on both bass drums. Now just the right foot. Definitely reminiscent of the Inagata De Vida Iron Butterfly drum solo. bad for this fish if he was to hit that drum. I had there. Yes.
conga drum. Somebody's playing conga along with him. <laughs> go wow interesting there's a conga player in the back you know oh, that's so interesting it's almost like you know he has this timekeeping element aspect going on with the percussionist joining him so it's almost like somebody else is kind of jamming along keeping a bass rhythm going on the conga drums and you could really hear him best when he got kind of quiet and then all of a sudden the conga drums, which are played with your hands, you know, they can mic them up, but it's not like hitting something with a stick, which has much more of a piercing attack, obviously, and you can hear it more clearly. So interesting. I haven't really studied a lot of Keith Moon. Obviously, I've heard of The Who and listened to some of their music, but um, there wasn't a lot of videos of him playing and there still isn't. Um, I did watch some stuff. I know there was famous rock drum solos video compilation with Carmine Apice, or Apice, however you pronounce his last name. And he talked about how um, uh, Keith Moon never used a hi-hat. And the irony is in that next video clip, he had a hi-hat stand. So I thought that was strange. There was a period of time, apparently, where he didn't use hi-hat symbols. In this video, you saw a hi-hat stand, and he did use it. Um, he kept time mostly on the bass drum. It wasn't a complicated solo. I think it was more of a celebrity showcase. I don't think of Keith Moon as being this extravagantly talented drummer technically or mechanically. I think he was a very creative person. Uh, he contributed some very interesting drum parts to the Who's music, which were very nice in many respects. Quality drum parts to the music. But as a soloist, he's certainly not the measure of some of these other great drummers that had spent a lot of time working on technique and rudiments and a lot of hand foot patterns. So it was kind of more of an old school remedial tribal type of solo. I mentioned earlier in the video that it sounded very reminiscent of the Iron Butterflies in Agata de Vida drum solo, which some of you have requested and I will do a reaction on that. That was a very influential solo to me as a young drummer just because it sounded like the drum set was so big and part of that was because of the flanging effect which uh, some of these other drummers did. I believe it was um, perhaps Peter Chris did that on one of his solos with Kiss. I don't recall who it was but I've actually incorporated some of that kind of effect. Vinny Colaiuta used it on his first solo album on, on a solo where there was two different drum tracks going on. Very fantastic stuff. So. Anyways, the iconic, legendary Keith Moon. I understand that the animal character on The Muppet Show was modeled after Keith Moon. You could see he, he was very extravagant, very wild. He died at a relatively young age, apparently due to drug overdose. In fact, there's rumors that there was a concert where he took so many drugs that he actually passed out. And... Um, John Entwistle, the bass player, asked the audience, is there a drummer in the house? And apparently some drummer came up and finished playing the set. <laughs> I haven't seen this video. I've only heard rumors about it. But it's a sad thing to hear about these great drummers that due to substance abuse have died prematurely. I know John Bonham was in that realm. And there's been other musicians like Jeff Percaro, unfortunately, and they've left us early. But uh, anyways, we enjoy some of the aspects of Keith Moon's playing, the big translucent concert toms on the you mean single head, um, and then, of course, two-headed for the floor tom, certainly the goldfish one. I didn't seem strike that, which was kind of a relief. I can't imagine how goldfish would have handled that. <laughs> anyways, the audience was dancing, and it was our, you know, star host. So it was a TV entertainment event, and uh, obviously he's just coming out and playing by himself. There's no band there at this point in time. So interesting solo, kind of fun, not too complex, um, not too inventive in many respects, but certainly interesting to listen to so there you have it the keith moon hopefully you guys enjoyed this and gals if you did give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel you know click the notification bell so you can keep up to date on the latest reaction videos and other things that i'll be submitting if you want any instruction the information is in the text box below and i will see you in the, on the next reaction and analysis video until then take care and have a great day Bye bye